Hello friends, in today's video we will talk about how to design a responsive website and this is a basic structure right and you can see this is uh, totally responsive so I will first make a basic structure you can see that we have uh, this logo we have navigation and so on right content header and this is the heading right this is uh, kind of uh, services or something this is footer so first thing I will select these and make it auto layout by pressing shift shift a and now I'm making this navigation right and similarly here I will do the same I will go here and shift a and make it uh, uh, bronze or something right and this is uh, services shift a and make it services and this is heading right and uh, this is uh, you know make it footer right now we got all the necessary stuff necessary content now all I'll do uh, you can see this tiny thing I'll use it later and uh, now let me move here so this is navigation uh, not not navigation this is logo yes this is logo but this container is navigation and the auto layout thing so what I will do I will select all from here to here and make sure I'm not selecting this tiny thing the navigation uh, sorry for my bad English by the way and now I will press shift a for the auto layout now you can see that uh, uh, this is complete auto, auto layout and based on the spacing uh, Figma has already uh, give some uh, spaces between the uh, between the items right so one thing uh, I can do uh, which is this thing and this item should be uh, a one frame uh, because this is kind of heading and this is uh, you know services so I'm going to press shift a here and now I will rename to I, will, I can press control R and now I will rename to uh, our services by the way if you have Figma AI Figma AI can easily uh, rename your layers anyways the main thing is you need to understand the basic structure the first thing you can see that uh, the each content of uh, uh, of this uh, frame for example is filling the uh, filling the container you know uh, you know uh, it, it's it's filling actually so here the size of this thing and this should be fill container okay I'll come here and say okay this is fill container and here this is fill container as well here I can do it same but it's already there I mean fill container and here if I uh, select the main container and press enter th then it will allow me to select the child element now I'm going to make it fill container and here as well I'm going to make it fill container and this is not I'm not going to make it fill container this is okay this is small heading and here I can say okay this is fill container as well and now I press shift enter and I will make it fill container as well okay so now we got the necessary stuff now I'll come here and make it in the center right and here I think I did not make this fill container I'll come here and make it fill container as well okay now you can see this is kind of uh, our tool layout kind of thing if you see but we if you do some minor things here for example here you can see we have some spaces right dot is 183 which is too high let me do it 16 okay something like that and then you can see too much space let me do it uh, 16 or something and here if i will make uh, let, let me make it a desktop for example right now you can see this is uh, uh, it's giving a default uh, the custom padding so i'm doing it let's say 16 or some yeah 16 or not 16 but 48 something like that now you can see this is behaving just like a uh, you know responsive because the structures the content is very basic so you will not feel uh, you know the 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 advanced kind of website but this is a basic thing now all I'll do I'll come here and I will say okay I want it in the center and here uh, these container right uh, these are drawn so I'm saying okay I want this center but I want it wrap right and here I will do the same I will say it okay I want this as a wrap okay so it will auto adjust 
and this one is a wrap as well okay so now if i would move here you will not see any uh, big changing right because the size of these thing let me make it small right uh, the padding uh, the spacing uh, let's say 24 for now i am doing a rough spacing you cannot see any big massive changing here right now all i'll do i'll say okay here in this specific uh, viewport or viewpoint let me show you something here uh, this is the breakpoints of the desktop this is for the tablet and this is for the mobile okay so right now if i'm saying okay uh, if I see this one, this is 722, right? You are saying, okay, my website layout uh, is something like that, that when uh, we reach in this specific viewport, okay? Maybe I'm uh, viewport, yeah, the viewport. Uh, then I want this thing. Let me do this also, 16, right? Okay, you are saying, okay, once you will reach in this specific uh, viewport, okay which is 637 you want that 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 this should come uh, you know uh, in down i mean instead of horizontal you want some kind of vertical stuff so you'll come here and you say okay this is the maximum you will come here and go and here you will say okay this is the minimum width you cannot you do not want uh, less than this okay so i'll come here and i say okay i want the current uh, size to fix as a minimum width so if you will shrink it a bit you see this will go like this right and if you will put a uh, padding and margin for example you are saying okay i want this is you know 100 and 100 something like that or maybe you can put some color right black color 000, zero, zero right so now you can you can see that if i will you know something like that it will be go uh, you know vertical right similarly if you are seeing okay here when i when my uh, you know uh, viewport reaches in this specific ratio you want these things to be vertical right so you will select all the stuff and you are saying okay this is what i want uh, minimum fit and you are saying okay the current width is the width you want that it should not uh, uh, minimize than this so what will happen if you will minimize from here it will go like this right so this is the basic structure if you will understand then th th it will be very easy for you okay so i hope uh, friends that you got the basic thing it is very it was very basic so i thought that i should tell you about this thing and uh, similarly we can if you have some more stuff you can play like this thank you so much for watching this video bye and take care